Would you like to create web forms for free? Well, let me show you how with JotForm. Hey, JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the web form landing page at JotForm.com. Now, at the top, it says, if you want to collect new leads, process orders, register team members, receive donations, record incidents, a ton of different things you can with our drag and drop form builder. Now, one of the great things about this is if you are having to start from scratch, you have no idea what you want this form to look like, we offer over 10,000 templates to choose from. So let's go ahead and click on that orange create web form button and you can see we're taken to our template gallery. Now, if you know what your form is going to be about, you can utilize the search bar right up here at the top to search for a specific template, or you can use everything over on the left-hand side. We have the different types, we have different industries, professions, and even languages. But for this example, let's go ahead and use this customer registration form right here. Now, one thing I like to do is I like to do a quick scroll of the form just to see what I'm working with. So we see we have their customer details, name, address, phone number, email. We have some drop downs. We have some long text. We have multiple choice. And then we have an input table right down here. Now, one thing to keep in mind is if you want your users to absolutely answer a question, make sure you make those required. So for example, if I know that I'm going to need their email, make sure you click on that properties gear and make it required. Same thing for about feedback or suggestions. If there's something that you absolutely would like, make sure you turn it on required. Now, again, both of these are just suggestions, so we can go ahead and turn those off. But if there's something missing that you would like for them to add, over on the left-hand side, we can choose to add a form element, and we can choose from any of these elements to add in. Now, one thing that I love about JotForm is you can add in a signature. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this in and drop it right about here. Now we can see that there is a green button on the right hand side. This is going to be our sign automation. If we turn this on, we can see it's going to automatically turn those sign submissions into PDFs. We're going to receive an audit trail for each signed document. It's going to disable submission editing and it's going to require form users to give their consent for their signatures. So let's go ahead and choose an email for that PDF trail. Perfect. And if we head up to publish, if for any reason you would like for this to live on your website, you can use the embed option. We can copy code and then paste that in our website. But for now, I think I'm good to go. So let's go ahead and preview our form. And I'm just gonna use the fill form option and we'll go ahead and scroll down. We see the information here. And then of course we have our signature. Come down here to the bottom, we'll do continue. And here is that pop-up saying, I understand and accept that my electronic signature will be as valid as a handwritten signature and considered original to the extent allowed by applicable law. We'll go ahead and sign document. And let's jump out of preview form. Then in the top left-hand corner, I'm gonna choose where it says form builder. I'm gonna jump over to my tables. And here is where all of that data is going to live. We can see we have that signed document, his information, as well as his signature. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to build free web forms with JotForm, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.